All right, so this is section 1.5 in pre-calculus results. We're going to first talk about the standard form of the equation of a circle. And if you put this in your memory banks, this equation, then it should serve you well um, for the rest of your equation of a circle days. Um, so the general picture for a circle, we have, it's technically a set of points the same distance away from the center point, h comma k. The distance is called the radius, that is nothing new, and um, the fixed point is called the center. Alright, so here it is, standard form of the equation of a circle. One thing to note is that this is x minus h and y minus k. So whatever ends up inside the equation of your circle, you take the opposite of it when you go to graph it. So if I have a point 1 comma 2, in my equation it's minus 1 minus 2. So I always remember it as opposites. Whatever is in the equation, the opposite um, you change the sign and then plot it. So if the points are negative, would it be adding? Mm-hmm. So when your points are negative, it's minus a negative or it shows up as plus in your equation. Um, one other thing also to note is that make sure you square your radius. Um, sometimes I'll get caught um, and I'll leave off the square and then that's problem off. Okay, so, but when you're centered at the origin, you get x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this is kind of a simplified form. This is when you're somewhere out on the Cartesian coordinate, and this is when you're at the origin. All right. When your radius is 1 and the center is at the origin, you make a special circle, very special, called the unit circle, and it has the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. We will revisit this later, but it's important to keep it rolling around in our brains. All right, so if we have a circle with a radius of 4 and a center at 2, negative 4, so we are x minus h, so the 2 will go in for h, and y minus k, so the negative 4 will go in for k, and then r is 4, so when we plug all those in, we get x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 16. Alright, that's the standard form of the equation, now let's graph them. I actually very much enjoy graphing circles. Not that I'm great at drawing circles, but um, I like the uniformness of them. Um, so if we were to graph x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 9, our coordinate for our center is going to be at opposite of minus 4, which is 4, opposite of plus 1, which is negative 1. So it's going to be at 4 comma negative 1, and our radius is going to be? 9. Yeah, square root. Because this, this 9 is already squared, so to find the true radius, we take the square root. So it's 3. So h is 4, k is negative 1, and r is 3. So on the graph, um, and I would make sure I use graph paper because we're at a place now at, in pre-calculus where it really matters that your graph has even markings on it. Um, so this is how I would graph a circle. I'd put my dot at the coordinate. I would go over 3, put a dot. I would go up 3, put a dot. Left 3, put a dot. And down 3, and put a dot. So now I have nice four points on my circle and I can make sure I hit all the points as I go around because 
I can't draw a perfect circle by hand, but um, at least I can get the general shape of it. If you really want, you can use a compass. Okay, so if we're going to find the intercepts, if any, of the graph, it's when y equals 0 and when x is equal to 0. So if you look, so we plug in, it doesn't have any y-intercepts because it doesn't cross the y-axis. So we are just going to find the x-intercept, so we'll put a 0 in for y, simplify it out x minus 4 squared plus 1 squared and then you minus 1 from both sides and you, that's where this 8 comes from. x minus 4 squared is equal to 8. Take the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of both sides for solving an equation, make sure you include the positive and the negative possibility. So I have plus or minus root 8 and because of 4 it lives inside of 8 because it's 4 times 2. That 4 gets square rooted and becomes a 2 and goes out front. And poor little 2 stayed in there. That's rationalizing or um, rational expressions. And then we add 4 to both sides. So we get 4 plus 2 root 2 and 4 minus 2 root 2, which is approximately 6.83, boom, and 1.17, boom. Um, and just to reiterate, there are no y-intercepts because they don't cross the y-axis at all. Thank you, graph. All right, so what if your equation comes all multiplied out? So we don't have the x uh, minus h squared and we don't have the um, y minus k squared and it's all multiplied out, you can do that. You can FOIL it all out and get the, um, get this, this type of equation. When this happens, we have to do something that um, most students groan um, and complete the square. The more practice with completing the square you get, the better you'll get at it. Okay, so you group the x's together. So I got x squared and I got a minus 8x. And you group the y's together. y squared and a 4y. Um, and then all the single, all the single numbers, all the single numbers, they go on the right hand side. Because we're going to give them some people to hang out with. Alright, so we leave a space for our x complete the square and we leave a space for our y complete the square. And when we learn this in Algebra 1, this is why we learned the skill in Algebra 1 way so many years ago. Um, so we can graph circles. So we want to find a number that um, when we, we're going to take our um, coefficient for the x, so this is negative 8, and divide it by 2, negative 4, and then we're going to square it to get 16. So we go with 16 here and we got to put it over on the right hand side. Same thing with this coefficient for our y. We cut it in half, square it to get 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4 and that's what goes on the other side. Now that we have a complete square for the x and the y, we're going to rewrite them x squared minus 8x plus 16 is x minus 4 squared. y squared plus 4y plus 4 is y plus 2 squared. And 5 plus 16 plus 4 is 25. Yay! So now all we have to do is graph. Center is at 4, negative 2. Radius is 5. All right. We talked a little bit about this yesterday. If you have a graphing calculator, you have to um, you have to solve for y first. So in this, just to get it in your calculator, you have to solve for y first. When you solve for y, you get the positive 
graph, which um, will give you the upper part, and then the negative graph, which will give you the lower part. So graphing calculators have the two components, and um, that's how they want you to solve it. And I'll 